Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the South Park Center. I'm here with Sam with his movie Ambiance. Let's take a look at the clip. Thank you very much for being here and thank you for coming all the way from Palestine. It's such a joy to have you, so thank you very, very much. Um, for those that haven't seen your film, tell us a brief synopsis. Thank you for inviting me of course. to be here and to screen my film, yeah. Ambience. Okay. Ambience is a short fiction film which is talk about two musicians from a refugee camp in Palestine, Bethlehem. Uh, they are trying to record a music sample to meet a deadline for a music competition. Uh, but they are living in a uh, crowded place and they face the, the noise and chaos because that they cannot record this yeah. sample. And finally, they discover a creative way uh, to meet the deadline and to use all that sounds and to make, it, to make it as a music. It was such a great story. You really had me rooting for these characters because, you know, this was... Because there's something fantastic about the creati creativity and, and trying to get it done, but they had extraordinary circumstances to get it done by the deadline. Um, where did the inspiration come for you in creating this story? I'm living in a, in a refugee camp, mm -hmm. and it's the same refugee camp, mm -hmm. which is called the Haitian refugee camp in, in Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. um, this camp was created like 72 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, in my life in, in, in this camp, we are like 15,000 people living uh, in one kilometer. Yeah. And you know, it's our daily life. Yeah. Uh, like you hear all the sounds from your, from your neighbors. And even you can smell your, your neighbors what they are cooking. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was trying in this film like to express our daily life in this place uh, to show the people that who never never went to this place mm -hmm. to see how is how is our daily life mm -hmm. in that place yeah I'm it's it's came from like my life yeah. there in this place you know I thought whoever this director is until I met you I was like must it must have been pretty challenging filming this because you know you take them out you know on these amazing exteriors and these journeys and just you know all the places that you journey how was that experience for you because it like you gave yourself a challenge to do that mm -hmm. like this film it took one year and a half mm -hmm. for working on it from the script then for shooting and uh, and then for uh, for the post and sound edit and the music yeah you know, when I when I finish the script, when I like start like to looking for a location and location scouting with with the, with the cinematography of the film, I was thought like, okay, I need an actors, but but then I, I discovered no, I I don't need the actors. Uh, all the actors that you saw in the film, the, they are non actors. Oh really? Yeah. Wow, they're so good. Yeah. Wow. It's it's the first time for all of them. Wow. To be an actor, wow! That must be a, a joyous. That must be a joyous experience for you to feel to see how what a great job that they did. Yeah, if I ask people from uh, from this place, yeah. like some of them, they are friends. Uh, I know them. Yeah. Uh, what if I ask like the normal people mm -hmm. to be an actors in my film? Yeah. They will not act. Yeah. It's it's their like normal life. Yeah. Yeah, and we we will bring them. Uh, in front of the camera, and yeah. I will ask them to do something. Yeah, and that's that's really easy. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. I was like, I would never have known that. And, and great credit to you and to them 
because I think it's always nice as well when you can give opportunity to people to maybe discover something in themselves that they may never thought that they had and they can certainly act. So it was, it was really great to watch. Um, what was the biggest challenge you had in, in, in making this project? We filmed this, uh, this film like with uh, very simple equipment. Uh, like for example, we had like a DSLR camera. That's, mm -hmm. it's, it was Canon 5D, yeah. Mark III. And we, ha we have like a lot of uh, night scenes and we need like a lot of light mm -hmm. equipment. And what, what we do is we ask the people from the camp to turn on all the lights and we, we film that. You know, all the people from the camp the 15,000 people, they were a crew member. Yeah. Uh, we, we have access in all the houses mm -hmm. in the camp. The people that they're giving us like the electricity cables, wow. uh, the people they're bringing a coffee or tea. Oh, uh, wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. So it's a really, a really community effort to make this project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. also all the people, they can, they can accept to be an extra or yeah. to be an actor in the, in the film. Oh wow, they must be so proud of what you've accomplished and also you've got a very long list of credits now with 15,000 people so, so credit to you. Um, team is everything when you're making, it, when you're making any mm. film but I mean you have a very special team because it really was part of the community and, and I love that there was obviously these new talent coming through as well which is absolutely fantastic. Speaking of your, your, your cast, I mean you said you obviously gave them certain things to do. What was their response being involved in it? Like if this, if this is something they've never done before, they kind of discover they were enjoying it or, or, or new things. What was that experience like for them, you think? Uh, after we finished, uh, the film went to Cannes. I mean, isn't that great? It's wonderful. Yeah, and this film went to, it was like, uh, was premiered an award mm -hmm. uh, in uh, Cine Foundation competition mm -hmm. yes, in yeah. Cannes. Mm -hmm. What's happened after Cannes, I, w I went back to the camp mm -hmm. and we screened the film like in the street. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, and all the people, they came and they, see, they saw the film and we screened the film like four, four times in the night. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Yeah. For, for, for them who act also, it was like, you know, it's really uh, things affect them because uh, they, they, f they feel that. And for them, like, this story, it's express mm -hmm. their story. Yeah. yeah, it's talk about their story. And for me, like, for, for as, a, as a third generation on this place, yeah. I'm talking about uh, the youth problems in this place what what their dream what their dreams what they want to do I, I'm so proud that you made this film because you know I I don't think we see enough of films like yours and particularly films that for whatever reason and you know whatever's going on in your world is is, is, is one thing but when you're faced with these unnecessary restrictions in life um, where it's hard just to get by doesn't mean you lose the hope of having dreams of being a musician, for example. It was really beautiful for, for us to experience. And that being said, what is it like being with us and then, and then partnering at the home of the Oscars? What was that experience? And really celebrating you know, film from your part of the world. How was that experience for you? For me, that what the, because all the people and the actors and the crew and people from my family and friends there, they, they ask me like a lot of questions, how it was the screening? You know, because the time, it's yeah, different. Oh, of course, yeah, of course. some of them, they, they were waiting for me, for my answer, oh, like my goodness, to I see how, what was the screening. Yeah. Uh, what I told them, like, for me, it's the, the best screening for the film, oh. yesterday. Yeah, I, you know, I spent like, after the screening, I spent like more than one hour talking with the people, mm -hmm. uh, how much they like the film. Amazing. That's everything, isn't it? When you get people coming up to you and, and, and saying that. I mean, well, well deserved. Uh, what is next for you? I'm in a um, development phase mm -hmm. for, a, for a feature film. Mm -hmm. It's talk about uh, a hero's car driver mm -hmm. uh, with his family. They are prepared uh, for his daughter mm -hmm. wedding day. Mm -hmm. And the film starts like 
a few days before the wedding. Yeah. And the Palestinian political parties that they announced there is a, a general strike day mm -hmm. and it will be in the same day with the wedding. Oh. And the family, they are trying to figure out what they can do yeah. with this. I can't wait to watch this, so please bring that one to us as well, please. Um, but I'm so glad that you, you made this film and, and brought it to us because it was, you know, a real joy to have you here. And, and, and I'm, you know, I want to say a big thank you to all the people at, at, the, at the camp and that community because obviously they were an integral part of making this happen. And, and thank you for being here. Thank you, um, thank you for Ambiance and uh, keep making more films for us as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you.